It looks like a factory assembly line. Like join the holes. But really, it's just seven-year-old Connor's garage. We've made about 200. 200 birdhouses, that is. Every day when I get home from school, I um, work on the birdhouses. This birdhouse making factory of sorts all started when Connor and his dad found some scrap wood and they decided to make it into one birdhouse. Well, that one birdhouse led to 20 birdhouses, and it was at that point that Connor decided he better set up a sale on his driveway. Flagged down cars, and people were very kind to stop and, and, and cleared us of all our inventory. Connor decided to donate his $200 in profits to the Joseph Brandt Hospital Foundation, the hospital where he and his three sisters were born. Well, it's a good cause, and it helps the hospital. Well, the hospital was so impressed by Connor that they put him and his birdhouse on the cover of their donor report. We had no idea that it was going to that we were going to get the attention that we that we generated. Well, that attention has also generated donations of supplies by community businesses, orders for another 500 birdhouses, and corporate sponsorship of birdhouses, even by the Toronto Maple Leafs. That's Phil Kessel. Kessel, Lupel, and the entire team even signed one that will eventually be auctioned off. Oh, my thought was really cool. We're actually starting to run out of space. And because of that, a local high school is now storing supplies and building birdhouses for them. Connor's grade three class is helping with the painting. I'm feeling excited. How come? Well, it's really fun. Well, Connor and his dad will have a booth set up at this weekend's Treats in Our Streets Festival in Burlington. They will have 300 birdhouses for sale there, and they're hoping to generate another $6,000 in sales. For information on their sale, you can go to our website, citynews.ca, and click on FYI. In Burlington, Audra Brown, City News.